Hi guys, I just wanted to come on here real quick and show you my haul from IMATS New York City. I went on Pro Night and if you're interested, just keep watching. So this year, I've always said that I wanted to do a video, but I never get around to doing it. And I've just been lazy. So let me get right into it. So um, this year, I didn't go with my mom. I went with a friend of mine from my second job and we had so much fun um, I didn't get as much as I normally do but I am trying to cut back with all that being said let's show you what I got so I went to the Anastasia Beverly Hills booth and the only thing that I wanted that I really, really, well, I wanted some liquid lipsticks and I wanted some eyeshadows, but I wasn't 100% sure what eyeshadows I needed. Um, I totally forgot my list. So the only thing that I ended up getting was this um, A23, the infamous uh, highlighter brush that everybody's been using with the highlighter. So I'm hoping that this brush is everything that everybody's been talking about. Um... I didn't get that many brushes this year. Weird. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm going to show you three brushes, but there's another brush. I don't know where it is right now. So I was stopped at the NYX booth and they were, uh, you know what, because I was trying to get the brushes and I was trying to get the really cute brushes. So they were, a, it, uh, I had to put some stuff back because I was just out of control. I was like, $60 at NYX, I should have a whole big bag, like, this should be all NYX, but it's not. <laughs> so, um, I, like, got myself together, um, and I only picked up a couple things, so I ended up getting, I purchased three brushes, and I got one for free. Um, if I can find the other brush, I will show it to you if it's in this bag. Um, so I got this... Um, they have a professional line and you just see like they have like this indentation like right in the middle um, I guess it's just made for you to be able to hold better um, I think this was the contour brush it's the number 23 and it's really dense it's okay it's not um, it's definitely synthetic it's soft it's not bad at all um, and then I had a whole bunch of these brushes in my hand. I was like, put it back, put it back, put it back. And then this is 32, just like a little blending brush. Is it the 32? Yeah, number 32. And then if you spent, the girl told me if I spent $25, I got this really big dual fiber brush. But when I got up there, it was only this um, angled brush and this is number 19 and it feels nice it's kind of thick um, I don't know what I would use this brush for I'm sure I'll find some use for it um, eventually at some point point. and let's see what I have uh, benefits was there this year which was really really good because I absolutely love let me see if I can find oops oops um my my brow products so I absolutely love this I don't know what it is about it but I absolutely love it and I ended up getting just getting four of them in the number five so I should be good for a couple months because these things really go fast really fast like they last me like no time and then I'd be stressed out because I'd be looking for my backup and my backup be gone let's see what else what else what else what else what else I stopped at Violet Voss and they had the cutest packaging let me show you the bag because I was like I wasn't gonna get anything because I was like mm, I'm not feeling these um, palettes and they didn't have like any good like deal deals they were like five or ten dollars off the stuff that you can normally get the only thing you were really doing was saving on shipping but how cute is this bag like is it not so adorable I 
almost died. Like I was like, all right, so I definitely have to get something from Violet Voss. So I was like, mm, what do I want to get? So I ended up getting, they had these liquid highlighters that came out. There were four of them. And I only ended up getting two. And I also ended up getting their three pack of lashes. Um, you Believe in Unicorns. And look how cute it matches the pack. I was like, such a kid. Still am. But let's get on to these highlighters. So I got, what color does it say? Oh. Glow for the win and grab and glow. These boxes are really weird. Yeah. And this is this is what they look like. This sucker is one ounce. It's gonna last me forever. I'm not gonna swatch every single thing, but you guys have got to see how this looks if you can like really see how Yeah. I'm going to be lit like all summer long. Iridescent unicorn. That's going to be me. And that was, which one was this? That was Grab and Glow. Um, the other one was really, 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 really light. I don't know where to put this stuff. Mm, let me just go ahead and put it in there. Uh... And then this is Glow for the Win. It's easier to open it up like that. Shake it up. And then this one is a little bit more rose gold. So that's going to look really nice. But you only need like a drop. You don't need much of anything because I can see that I could turn into a mess real, real quick. So I got that from Violet Voss. And let's see. Um, I stopped at Kaylin. And I got... What did I get? I got some stuff for me and my mom. I feel like there should be another one in this bag. Yeah, here it is. So I got two for my mom and three for me. And I got the colors 16, 4, and 46. Now 16 was actually supposed to be my mom's. Um... But she ended up already having this from last year because we go like every year. So that is what 16 looks like. Should have known she's really into dark colors. So she ended up with my um, metallic one. And then this is 46. This is like a mauve pink. And I'm sorry if I don't swatch everything. But like I have so much stuff. And I hate to open like stuff before... I'm actually ready to use it because you know once you open it it's the life the lifespan starts ticking down and then you can see like that nice shimmery color. Wait, I should have something else over here too. Mm, I hope it's in this bag. Anyway. Um I stopped at <laughs> I stopped at Beautylish, which was actually um Nothing but Jeffree Star. And I was very impressed with myself. I didn't go crazy. I didn't get the brand new um, Jeffree Star and Manny MUA collaboration. I just felt like the highlighter wasn't going to work for me. I'm a brown girl and it just wasn't for me. I didn't really like the lipstick either. Although I have a lot of his lipsticks. Don't judge me. They were before, and I've cut back a lot, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I ended up getting this color called Pussy Whipped, and that's like a really pretty metallic y gold color. That's going to be pretty when I wear that at some point. And then I also stopped at Lime Prime. Like, these are the companies that I normally 
try not to purchase from just because of certain things that have happened in the past, neither here nor there. Um, but I ended up picking up only four things just because um, I know that I have a lot of their stuff. Um, sometimes it's on hot look and stuff like that. So I buy, buy from there whenever they have a sale. Um, actually, I don't buy from them anymore whenever they have a sale. I only get it like at IMAT. So I don't have any issues. But anyway, I got a metallic color. And like this nice pur purple color. And it's called posh and I know I don't have any metallics from them so that was safe to buy because I hate repurchasing stuff like you know you go out there and you get get all this stuff and you get home and you realize you already have a color and then this one is like this really pretty rose gold color and the color happy and then they had some new diamond crushers they are so Pretty. They're like lip toppers and the girl said you could use them as like um, cream eyeshadows too. Probably won't do that but maybe. Could. Um, they're making everything for to do everything. And then what color was that? That was lit. The light. And then this is the pink color and this is Acid Fairy. So I got that. Let's see. Um, I stopped by Dosa Color and I ended up only picking up one thing just because um, I'm not really a fan of their liquid lipsticks for whatever reason. They just do not stay on me. I don't know why, what the deal is. They just don't stay like they get everywhere like everywhere you never realize how often you touch your face until you see it see li liquid lipstick everywhere but I ended up getting a baked highlighter in sun kissed um, I'm not really big into baked highlighters but let me see um, it felt nice and it looked good at the show so I said I figured I'd give it a try um, and that's really pretty nice and brown girl friendly um let's see i stopped by makeup forever where are they they were just here okay yeah so i stopped by makeup forever and i ended up getting the chromatic mix base bases um i ended up getting yellow and I used the black this morning and I don't see it, of course not, because I moved everything out of nowhere. And then I got yellow, black, and white. So I got those because you know how it is. These foundations, once they get a certain deepness, they start to turn red and they think all women of color are red and we are not, clearly we are not um i did, what did I, get? I got their pro light fusion in um the number one it is so pretty it is super super pretty um i got a couple quite a few highlighters and that's like this really nice icy pink it still looks good trust me it looks good is it pink or is it gold mm, it's just pretty as hell and all I know is that um yeah I will be wearing that and then um it's crazy because right before I was about to go I was watching a couple videos and I, they had a couple of new products that had came out and this is the ultra HD micro finishing press powder and I got the color two. I didn't get the white because I didn't want it to come off ashy on me. However, this feels so silky small, soft, <laughs> small, soft. I cannot wait to get rid of some of this other stuff that I got going on so I can use this underneath my eyes because that is going to be everything. 
truly everything. And then I got um, two concealers. I got the number, is that 17? No, Y49, because of course there's nothing in between. And Y41. So, as you can see, that's the darker one. That's the lighter one. Mix them together. And we might have my color. Might. It's always a mixing game. Always, 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 always a mixing game. But that's alright. I guess that's life, right? Um, what else is in here? I stopped at Inglot's. I was supposed to take my list because there were some colors that I needed to get, like that I had been eyeing for like the past year. But of course I didn't. So, um, I don't know if, if you're familiar with Inglot, you know, everybody runs by a number nowadays. Nobody runs by a color. So, this color is 287. And it's like this nice mustard orange color, which is going to be a great transitioning color. Um, this is 300, so that's like a, a nice milk chocolate brown. Um, I think that is one of the colors I was looking for. Uh, $2.99. This is more of a red brown. I'm sure I have some, if not all, of these colors somewhere in my stash. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. Um, I'm trying to keep my habit. 335. These are all matte colors, by the way. Um, this is like a milk, uh, a more um, red milk chocolate color. And then the last color that I got was, oh, one of the colors was on one of the girls that was helping me so I was just like um, whatever you got I need um, and then this is like a deep crease color 329 dark brown really nice um, and of course I went to Kat Von D's booth that line was long it was the end of the night too like cause pro night is not as long as um all the other nights it's only a couple of hours so oh yeah look I got this little keychain from NYX it's like a little lipstick it's like um who is it who somebody else did um the little keychain with the lipsticks that was so cute is that let me see because there's something else that's supposed to be here but whatever um, tattoo eyeliner and trooper. I ended up getting four of those because that's all I really like to use as a liquid liner. Um, I ended up getting my mom a liquid lipstick, but she has it already. This is the light gray and dagger. I had signed up for like when you fill out the sheet when you go you fill out a sheet you tell them you know to let them know what you want and of course the girl forgot my lip liner but whatever um and then this is a dark gray and this is called wolf so that's gonna be nice i don't really have any colors like that like i keep looking over in the corner because that's where they're gonna go live at and then finally because last year when i went they did not have any concealers so I finally and I don't think this is the color I'm supposed to get I think I was supposed to get 29 I got D 31 but it's okay because I'm going to the makeup show next next month hold on there is something else that what is my brush I was looking for it. Yes, I was looking for you. Um, I was looking for something else too. Like I got two other lip products, but I don't see them. 
but this is this is my brush and as you can see it's been engraved well, let me take this off it's been engraved with my business name on it so pretty um and it was really uh really really i like going on pro night because the lines aren't as long. Yes, they're long, but they're not as long as normal. Oh, Kat Von D gave us um, a little red liquid lipstick and a little red mini lipstick. Um, you know the mini sizes. I have something over here. That ain't it. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like this size, but it's the studded version. That was super cute. I don't have them. I gave it to my mom because I don't like red. Red's not my thing. Um, well, and then like a little mini liquid lipstick, which I feel like all liquids, like there should be an option to buy like a little one. So that way, you know, it don't go bad before you use it all but anyway i'm rambling um this was a little freebie too at cat von d but i like going on um pro night just because it is so uh, it is so much nicer if you can go on pro night please do oh yeah that's right that's right that's right that's right that's right i almost forgot i stopped at juvia's place and I ended up picking the Nubian 2 and then what what palette is that the masquerade and those were good these were a good deal because um, I think this one was either 20 oops 20 or 21 and then this size was 25 which was only like a four or five dollar difference from the smaller one so I was like in my head I was like you really need this size because this size is better to store but my mind was like it's only four dollars more and it's such a you know the the eyeshadow palettes pans are so much bigger than the little baby ones in this palette so see the size let's see I don't know this stupid thing so you can see the size difference in the the pans or was it was it they are so pretty oh my goodness or was it this small I don't know what size the little one is if it's this size or if it's the other size because this is the original palette I picked that up on a whim last year when I was walking past I was just like um, what's that? Okay, let me grab that and it was about my business. And then for the rest of the year, all I heard was Juvia's Place, Juvia's Place, Juvia's Place. And I'm like, uh, I gotta get some more stuff. There's something else here, but I don't know where it is. I ended up getting, um, some more gold lip, liquid lipsticks, lips, lip glosses, whatever. Um, and that was it. That was really good for me because usually I have tons of pounds. That little bag, that little bag be full to the brim, to the brim. But it wasn't. So I did really good. I enjoyed myself. I can't wait to go to the makeup show um, in May. And just wanted to share with you guys just in case you might, you know, um, end up either going to the makeup show or just making a list of some things that you might be interested in. Thank you so much and I'll catch you guys later.